This poem is called Tinnitus, um, and it's about a story my father told me about uh, getting diagnosed with this ringing uh, in his ears, um, which uh, didn't last long for him. Um, but it brought home to me, I suppose, about how much poetry is to do with sound. And of course, poems are all about images and memorable images, but they're also about how we, how we organize sounds and how we hear things. Tinnitus. My father's tinnitus is like the hiss of a water cooler, only louder. And it doesn't just stop like, say, a hand dryer. The worst is, it comes and goes, or you shine a light on it and it looks permanent as the sea, a tideless sea that won't go away. The masker he's been prescribed is a tiny machine, an arc of white noise that blacks out a lot but can't absorb the interference totally any more than you or I, taking the air, stirring milk into coffee, daydreaming through the six o'clock news, trying to sleep on a wet night, can simply switch off what's always there, a particular memory nagging away, the erosive splash of a little river wearing away the road, say, on the Connor Pass, a day out through which he'd accelerate in the flash orange Capri.